I'm Ned Pelger of ConstructionKnowledge.net, a website focused on helping construction supervisors connect, learn, and advance. When I started in construction, I had the privilege to work for Bud Caldwell. Bud was one of the great superintendents that I've encountered in my life. He started working behind a mule and uh, digging out basements and taught himself all sorts of things about engineering and construction as he went through his career, learned how to design beams, learned how to fluid flow and pipes and pressure, and he also taught himself how to convert inches and fractions of an inch to decimal feet. And he taught me that one day when we were reviewing some shop drawings for a trickling filter arm on a wastewater treatment plant. We were reviewing the shop drawings and the anchor bolts, and he showed me how to go around and convert them in, in my head. And it was a great, just a great thing to learn. He just quickly converted inches and fractions of an inch to decimal free, feet so we could easily add and check those dimensions. Now, adding fractions is a challenge for most of us. When I hire people, I often ask them three questions. And one of those questions is, what's a half plus a third? So if I ask you, what's a half plus a third? Well, the answer is five sixths, or if you do it in decimals, 0.83. You have to use the concept of the lowest common denominator, and it's, it's kind of a tricky thing to, to remember. So when you add feet and inches, you have to deal with this fractions of an inch, and, and it's complicated. Now, you can work it out on pencil and paper, or you can get a special calculator, but I found those calculators kind of unhandy to use, and there's a lot of times it's just better to be able to do it in your head. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Now these conversions help in a number of places. If you're checking a string of dimensions to verify that they correctly add up to the, the uh, sum dimension, you know, it's a place where you need to do it there. I do it there often. If you're comparing elevations between a site drawing, which is normally shown in decimal feet, and an architectural drawing that's often shown in feet and inches, you need to convert. And when you lay out accessible ramps and accessible routes, you know, the, the slopes are so critical there for the accessibility that's a place also where you end up converting a lot. I give an example of that on constructionknowledge.net if you want to look at that. Now to quickly memorize these conversions, let's start with what you already know. Six inches is what? Six inches is 0.5 feet, so that's easy. Three inches is 0.25 feet, okay? Nine inches is 0.75 feet. Neither of those should be difficult to remember. Now think about four inches and eight inches. Well, what part of a foot is four inches? Well, it's 0.33 feet, right? Eight inches is 0.67 feet. So that gives you kind of a basis to get started. And then there's one important trick to remember that an eighth of an inch is almost exactly one hundredth of a foot. So if you look at the chart here, an eighth of an inch is 0.01 feet. A quarter of an inch is 0.02 feet. Three eighths of an inch is 0.03 feet. So you see the progression there? So let's use what we know. We already know that 3 inches is 0.25 feet, 4 inches is 0.33 feet, 6 inches is 0.5 feet, 8 inches is 0.67 feet, and 9 inches is 0.75 feet. So there's only a few things you really have to memorize. We know that 1 inch is 0.0 feet. Now, how do we know that? Well, if 1 eighth of an inch is 0.01, 8 of those is 0.08. So one inch is 0.08 feet. So that's not a hard one to remember. Two inches you do have to just kind of remember is 0.17. Two inches is 0.17 feet. Five inches, well with five inches I just go to, to the six inches and subtract an inch. So five inches is 0.42 feet. Go to 0.5 feet and take off 0.08. 7 inches is done the same way, the other direction. 7 inches is 0.58 feet. Go to 0.5 feet and add 0.08. 10 inches is 0.83, which again you just kind of have to remember. And 11 inches is 0.92, which is 0.08 less than 1 foot. Okay, let's do some examples. 6 and 3 8 inch is what? Okay, how do we work that out? Well, 6 inches is 0.5 feet. 3 8 of an inch is three one hundredths or 0 0.03. So six and three eighths of an inch is 0.53 feet. Yeah, that makes sense. Three and a quarter inch. Well, it's 0.25 feet plus 0.02. So 0.27. So three and a quarter inch is 0.27 feet. 
eight and seven eighths. Well, let's take this the other way. Go up to nine inches, which we know is 0.75, and then just subtract an eighth, 0.01. So it's 0.75 minus 0.01 or 0.74. This simple method of memorizing the inches to decimal feet conversions can be useful for the rest of your life, and it really has been for me. Uh, there aren't many weeks go by that I don't convert back and forth in some way or another. So to conclude, remember that the construction supervisor that takes time to learn and grow every week will advance and meet life goals. I hope you found this short video helpful. For more resources, please visit constructionknowledge.net. Thank you.